the most important thing that I can have you guys go away from t today is a better understanding of how this language came to be, the history of it. So who's ever heard of Chinook jargon? So, you know, Chinook jargon, typically, if you went to a, a library, for one, if you went to a good library, you might literally find a hundred dictionaries because there were well over a hundred dictionaries published of Chinook jargon. It's called Chinook jargon. And they were basically, the original ones of those were basically published for non-Indians coming to the Pacific Northwest who had the need to communicate because absolutely the language to speak early on here was Chinook. The language's origin is with natives and its fullest use was always with, you know, Indian to Indian. I mean, the fullness of the language. If you look at those dictionaries, they'll say things like the Hudson Bay Company made up this language. Well, you know, a lot of people have believed that, including some Indians have believed that because it's just written. That's what's written, right? This is the information out there. But looking at it linguistically, uh, and you know, I mean, I was taught that Chinook, Chinook Wawa, this language, pre-existed contact. You know, it was here as a basically, you know, intertribal trade language uh, from the beginning. In this case, you know, this is a pigeon based on Chinookan, and it was Chinookan people that were reducing their language, taking a very, very complex language, because Chinookan is exceedingly complex, and just reducing it down, taking out the uninflected words in the vocabulary, only the very simplest verbs reduced to their simplest forms, whatever, to make a bare bone language that we could communicate in if we didn't otherwise share a language. This sound system that Chinookan has is shared by almost every Northwest Coast language. So even though Northwest Coast languages are not, are remarkably not related, they remarkably share uh, the same sound system. Muck, muck. Get up. Get up. You like that? Get up. He he. 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 Nika, Mika. So it says Hadamika name. If you just say Hadamika, Hadamika, it's actually kind of the easiest thing you could just, uh, it's kind of the most approachable thing in this language. Hadamika, how are you? Hadamika, how are you? When people ask, they say, how do you say hello in Chinook? If I'm just on the street, I don't want to bother even trying to tell you. <laughs> how to say uh, I am because it's there's a lot going on there so you know just teaching somebody how to Micah how are you right how to Micah how are you